If you're looking at the table, right about now you could be forgiven for saying that these two teams are a bit making up the numbers at this stage. But don't tell them that because they will argue the fact and they have this game today to prove exactly what they're made of and how capable they really are. It's Australia up against Argentina, the Wallabies and the Pumas set to do battle here in the Rugby Championship. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cool Flag Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Rugby Championship. We're into the final few rounds here and the Wallabies and the Pumas, well they've not had the best seasons as you'd expect. They're both struggling very much so. Just three points so far for Australia and they have a few old heads returning with the likes of Pilota now back to their front row. McCalman comes into number eight for an injury replacement but it is into their back line where I expect them to spark here. Phipps, Foley and Tamua will be guiding this ship round, sweetly sailing as best they can, but it'll be out to those four behind them. Kurandrani, Horn, Beatham, who I expect to do big things at the moment, and of course Israel Folau, that will should really be exposed to some limelight if they can get their numbers right tonight. Australia have the chance here to really put themselves back in this competition, although maybe not for trophy wear, but maybe respect is in order for the Wallabies. Argentina continues to improve, and as always, it is once again to this point where they have just two points in their competition bank, but they've just shown a lack of attacking urgency. They haven't got the go-forwardness that really they need to see something coming from their back line. It will be Hernandez and Bosch that will really need to impact in the centres. But Landajo and Sanchez need to do a better job of guiding that back line around. The likes of Montero and Imhoff, they are spectacular finishers. And given the chance, they could really come to life. But the Wallabies will be doing everything possible. It's one of these two sides that are going to be in lights after today's match. And the other, it could be all downhill once again. The wooden spoon is on offer for one of these two teams. Who will it be today? It could go a long way to deciding that. It'll be Argentina to kick off. A packed house here. Home match for Australia. And Sanchez gets us underway. The rugby championship. Bottom of the table clash, you could almost say. As it is Argentina who reclaim their ball instantly. And away they come through Landajo. And they're looking to spread it. Left and right they go. Oh, big shot in the end. Coming on Bosch. That is a big thumping tackle. Now they run through once again Montero. Trying to make ways through the middle of the park. Can't get away Landajo. Oh, advantage Australia. Seems, oh, another advantage to knock on. So double mistake there. That one coming from Galarza. And there was a forward pass. Crouch. Clutched it. Touch. And delivering a knock on. See. Frost chance going to Argentina. Couldn't capitalise. But look at the scrum from the Pumas. Oh, that's a display and a half. Now they need their backs to return the favour. The big men up front have done the hard work. Australia lose their feed. Landajo goes straight out to Montero. He gets a back and fill. Oh, great tackle. Sensational tackle from Kurandrani. Turns over the ball. And the Wallabies have it straight back. Phipps goes to Foley. Pull it now. Quick hands. Tamua. Tamua. Now this is where they're going to shine. Because they have another number 10 in Tamua. He kicks over the top. It's a big chase from Captain Hooper. Oh, it's a magnificent chase from Captain Release. Hooper. The yellow jerseys are piling in. Argentina trying to recover. They can't do it. It's Carter. So close goes Carter. He throws out the back door. Numbers to burn. Has to go to someone. Rob Horn. He'll get the try. The Wallabies hit the lead. He scored quite a few in this tournament already. He has Rob Horn. That's another one to the collection. But really... At the end of the day, there was a number of players that could have scored this. Kurandrani deserves something. <laughs> Poor old Slipper. He would have loved to score a try. But he had to deliver the pass unselfishly. Great tackle and defence there on Carter. But it was that final ball from Slipper. Still had Foley. But got it done in the end. Great try, the Wallabies. 
was held a little bit of pressure early on. But it was a quick across field after the initial break from Tamua. He popped it into that corner. Hooper's chase was sensational. Here's Foley to add another two. Bit of a wind in his back. Strikes it nicely. Brings the wind into play. And adds the extra two points. The Aussies leading this one. 7-0 over Argentina. Quarter of an hour in. And you could say fairly that it is a 1-1 as far as chances go. But it is the Wallabies who lead 7-0. Fadi takes in the kickoff. Well, wow, somehow unloads that. Foley all oh, intercept. A chance for Argentina. Why they go? Montero feeds it infield. And they're still keeping it in the forwards. Tyler goes. Oh, it's a try. It's a beautiful try. Senator the scorer. The big number eight gets the beautiful finish. The easy little trot in. Oh, it's not. It's Leguzamon. I take that back. Playing on the blind side. Number six. There's the ball. Should have picked the helmet. I think it was a run there too from Fernandez lobby. Let's have another looky. How good was this? Montero. Yeah, there it was. It was number seven. Fernandez lobby who feeds it to Leguzamon. Try time. What a reply from Argentina. Take that, they say. We're not going to light out on this one. But noticeably so, it was the forwards who really did the damage as Sanchez lines up. The conversion to tie it all up. The flank is mainly doing the deal on that one. Fernandez lobby, beautiful run from him. It was a mistake though. From the Wallabies, that really got them a chance. And that is something that they'll need to cut out here, Australia, if they're going to keep this match in check. Kicked off again, deep down into the left side. Oh, oh, oh huge, Please. thunderous tackle from Kurandrani. That is massive. Landaho, he'll go for a run himself. He's taken down a good tackle Please. from McCalman. And Australia looked to wrestle this ball back. It's slow, but it looks like it's coming. There it is. And they pop a wide horn in the back line. Gives it to Foley. Foley over the top. Tamua. Tamua's got a line to run. He, oh, he misses the ball up for Beatham. And it's gone to stray once again. Carter knocks on. And it's going to fall nicely for Argentina. Here's Hernandez. Popping it in field. And it's Fernandez lobby again. Breaking through a couple of tackles. Oh, Sanchez is caught out here. Carried back. Crouch. The pass from Creevy read Crouch. like a book. Australia get the five minute scrum. Half an hour goes by. Just five outs. Who's going to back themselves here? What's the play? First up, win the scrum. They do that. It's McCalman. He's going to go for it. He's dragged down just short. Oh, no support at all. Where's the yellow jumpers? They are nowhere to be found. And another Come butcher chance. Sanchez gets sacked. But it is an offside play from Kurandrani. Wow, they did look a bit keen. They were pushing the envelope quite hard there. Oh, picks them up. It was a beautiful tackle. Textbook stuff. But it will give Argentina a release here. They'll thump this one over the 22. A good 30 metres out from their line now. And they'll have the line out. It'll be Creevy, the captain, to throw in. What have they got up their sleeve here? Any special plays for Argentina from deep in their own territory? Get a nice seat for Alamano. And he's setting it up for a drive. Australia try to hold it up. Eventually comes back. Now they look to their back line. It's Hernandez. Oh, good tackle on Hernandez. Release. Beautiful numbers gain there from Australia. They get it back. And away come the Wallabies. Foley. Beautiful ball from Phipps. Look who's on hand. It's Hooper. It's Tamua. Tamua with numbers. He's going to go himself as he does. He chips it through for Horn. And it's gone dead and goal. Rob Horn was screaming on in that corner. Goes dead. It's seven all.
Argentina opting now for the 22 dropout. Sanchez plonks it on his boot and gives it straight down the throat of Phipps. Foley looks, oh, missed it completely. Now it's trouble as Argentina, oh, Kuranjani again. Second penalty from the outside center. And how keen will Argentina be to end this with a penalty shot? Could be a three points, that'll give them a lead. And they will. That's beautiful work, backing yourself from Argentina, Sanchez. We'll have a go. It's a long way out. Hits it, hammers it, it's well astray, it's well short, it's well everything. Simmons will run it back. He's given it to Pilota now. Australia keen to run this ball. It's gone to Horn. Horn's taken a good tackle. He goes to ground. Just outside the 22. Carter, back to Kurandrani. Work to do for him on defence. Simmons, look at this run from the second rower. Finds Batham. Now, here's the key man. He grubbers ahead. He's got a bit off the inside of his boot. He toes it again. Could this be something special? Peter Batham. Sublime skills. He is a rare, rare talent as Peter Beatham. They need to look after that man. He really gave that a nice nudge away from the touchline. He backed his support behind him and he just controlled that perfectly. It's set up right when he wanted it to. He got a knee to it, he got a boot to it, he got something to it every time. That one bounced up, it was kind of a double kick off his knee, off his shin, but it come off for him. The ball just kept on rolling and Peter Beatham Scores a try here against Argentina when it looked like Argentina might end the half with a penalty goal. How will that break the hearts of the Argentinians? What have they got in store? It's going to take some... Oh, well, that'll give them confidence at least. A dreadful kick from Foley. Could he have got that more off the mark if he tried? I doubt it. We're here to the break. It's half time. It's a five-point lead for Australia. 12-7 is the scoreline, but Argentina, oh, they they may be happy with the scoreline, but they will not be happy with how that half ended. They're just five points adrift, but they should have gone to the break. 7 all. It was a long kick, but it's backfired on them a big time through the silky skills, skills of Peter Beatham. 55% of position they had, but they lost out big time. When it comes to Territory Australia, taking that by 63%. Five line breaks for the Wallabies, just one for the Pumas. And that is going to cost them in the second half if they can't up their line breaks. Handling errors, 6-3. to three. Australia getting the worst to deal with that one. Both sides making quite a few tackles. We've had 48 already, which is quite a lot for just one half of rugby. And of course, the high tackle, Kurandrani lost his head for a while there. An offside, a high shot, but he's played pretty well despite that. It is Australia by five, 12 to seven over Argentina. In the wooden spoon battle here, the loser will be well on their way to claiming that piece of cutlery for another year. Who's gonna have the go forward here? The breeze straight across the field, slightly in favor of Argentina. Up it goes again, it's holding up again, and Phipps, oh no! Oh, Phipps has lined him up from a long way back, and he is taking him horribly high. It's come all unstuck there for the scrum half. Boy, he really lined him up from miles away, and he really made a complete hash of it as well. And to touch it goes from Sanchez in Argentina. Take advantage of that early opportunity. They'll have a line out. Justin Australia's half. Creevy. Oh, he's thrown it away. It's gone to Carter. And Hooper finds himself a first receiver. Kurandrani slices. Gets through one. Looks to offload. Oh, but Beatham can't get hold of it. And it's a good intercept Please. from Hernandez. In Australia. Get on him, they get the numbers on the ball and they get the turnover they desire. Simmons, Phibbs, big ball wide once again is Captain Hooper. And look at the acceleration too. Big ball!
goal wide. What an immaculate pass from Hooper. And it will be Rob Horn for another. Oh, how good is Hooper playing at the moment. Two big runs from the open side flanker. Here's the ball from Simmons. Had to turn himself sideways. Come past left. And then the beautiful pass. Oh, that was magical. Oh, that is highlight reel stuff from that ball there to this one from Hooper. Get caught up from Bosch. But that was a beautiful pass. And Rob Horn, well, he just continues to score tries. He just can't do anything wrong at the moment. Foley had an abysmal effort just before the half prime break. Has he rectified that? It's 17 7. This one looks all right. The breeze holds it away from the uprights. And that is how you kick from the left hand side when you've got a breeze pushing the ball back at you. That is a beautiful kick. Such a hard angle too. So Argentina now start to drift away from this match. The lead is now 12 as a kickoff is long. Kurandrani picks it up. Fadi, beautiful ball for Tamua. Tamua's away. He gets picked up on beautifully. And Montero makes a mis forces a mistake from the Wallabies. Horn holds up his man. It's a good run there as into the line comes him off. Argentina slip wide. Zaharitsa. Good ball back run. Oh, Kipu's intercepted. And the big man gets the job done defensively. McKelman needs some support from his yellow jumpers here. Argentina have big numbers to this ruck. And they're going to turn it over to McKelman. What a waste. It was a beautiful run. Sanchez. Oh, good work from Sanchez. So many tacklers there, and he's still got through most of them. Ball pops back for Ihertza, who eventually goes to ground. Oh! Career has been hammered, and Pilata now is in trouble. Hooper comes and says, no, ref, please don't. But he gives out the yellow. Dishes the suspension for 10 minutes. Going to Pilata now. And this time, Argentina go for touch. The ball is going to... Sail over the line. Sanchez again. Not a bad clearance from him. He's been all right today, Sanchez. That little run from him just a couple of minutes ago was very well done. But it's a line out. Oh, no. Simmons has plucked that out. And Argentina's falling apart here. Timua finds a Curandrani. Here we go, Curandrani. He's going for the corner. And who is there but Rob Horn? The ball bounces perfectly. Oh, Horn. Picks it up, McKelman, Simmons, feeds it wide for Fadi. Fadi opens it up, Tamua gives it back, Kurandrani again. Oh, Peter beat them out of position, and now here comes Argentina. That was a good run from Bosch. And Montero in the end goes into touch. End to end, staff entertainment plus between these two beautiful sides. The line now goes to the Wallabies. Be thrown in from Slipper. Well, I never thought about that with Pilot now off the field. It's beautifully thrown too. And Horn in the action once again is Horn. This time they grab it. Oh, he gets it through the hole. Beautiful work from Horn. He slips on it and he secured the ball for his team. Here comes Phipps. Phipps runs. Phipps gives the ball to Beatham. Beatham goes straight through. And Beatham scores train number two. Oh, such pace from Peter Beatham. Argentina didn't even know he was coming and he'd already scored it. There was the grubber from Horn. Did the, the good thing here for his team. He secured possession. Foley did the good job there of doing his forwards work. And Peter Peetham. Wow. So fast. Rob Horn, though, has been magnificent. You have to say, you compare the two sides here with the likes of Horn, Beatham, and Kurandrani. Even Tamua has been pretty good. You compare that to the other side of the field with the likes of Hernandez, Bosch, Imhoff, for Montero. You see, Montero's been quite good. He's been in the action. He's made a few busts. But really, Hernandez and Bosch, we've hardly mentioned their name at all. Imhoff has had a couple of touches, but nothing really, nothing like Horn and and Beatham have done is the kick from Foley 
is easily dealt with right in front. It's 26 to 7. Pilotta now returns to the field. Well, he wasn't missed at all. If anything, he just wild up his, his teammates, got them cranking up another gear with 11 to go. It's all the Wallabies. And it's going to be maximum points for the green and golds. Oh, that one's left to bounce. Here's a chance for Argentina. Oh, it's a forward pass. Can anything else go possibly wrong? How good was that kickoff? Lendajo, I think it might have been. Oh, he got the pass away Crouch. to Fernandez lobby. Crouch. Said to be forward. I don't believe a word of it. Can Argentina find something in their forwards? Scrum for Australia is good. Phipps goes back to Foley. And Foley will do stock standard kick it. Will try to kick it into touch. He hasn't managed it. And took it. Brings it back. Fires the ball. They go out to the right. It's a good play here. Now Bosch is getting involved. And it's a chance for Hernandez. He offloat beautifully. Sanchez. Numbers. Oh, there it is for Bosch. I think that's Marcelo Bosch. Let's check it out. But it's a try for Argentina. Who's getting the credit for that one? It's him off. There was Hernandez, made the initial break. He popped it in for Sanchez. And yes, it was him off, diving over the top of Tamua, who slipped over on the goal line. Poor effort from him. Defensively, poor Kurandrani made the good. No, he didn't. It was Falao who made the good tackle. It all mixed up here. And once again, where was Bosch? Crediting Marcelo Bosch for that, and he had no play in it whatsoever. Amoff gets a try. Argentina get two. We've still got a couple of minutes to play. We should get a restart of Sanchez. Well, that's a nice kick from Sanchez. A very nice one. It's 26 14. Argentina. Now they're not. Well, the match is over as far as the contest goes, but. Argentina showing they still have plenty to offer here as far as the rugby championship is concerned Here's Foley going back up again into the heavens. He goes Kurandrani. Oh, he's got a Kurandrani and look at this all floating straight through the back line Finally beat them all oh, around the outside goes beat them. Oh massive shot from Trickolette Takes him down in a pile of heaping screaming heap to the floor Phipps to Tamua, Tamua's through. Oh, that's far too easy. Matt Tamua didn't even have to try. Argentina out on their feet, but he got the finish he was wanting. A fifth try for the Wallabies. All oh, thanks to the initial break from Beetham. Flat pass, Tamua beautifully sliced up. In between, finally I'll credit Bosch for something. I'll credit him for missing that big gap between him and Sanchez. Because there it was. Yes, it was definitely Bosch. Bosch and Sanchez messing that up completely. Tamua slipping straight through. Well, it's been a good display here from the Wallaby backs and their forwards alike. Argentina, though, they go back to that problem. The forwards perform. We definitely know that, but their backs just can't seem to click. Imhoff got a try for his backs, but the centre pairing, i just not too sure about Hernandez and Bosch. Foley slots another one, it's 33-14, and the Wallabies have done the job, full time goes. And Australia get their home match victory against Argentina. The return leg I feel may be a bit different, much like the All Blacks and the Springboks. This one, between the Wallabies and the Pumas, could be a bit more interesting when it's in Argentina. But as for Australia, they get the win at home, and that will please them very much so. A five-point victory on their home paddock. We'll have a look at the table in just a second, but that is five points in the bank for them. The scoreline in the end of the day it was 33-14. to 14. A couple of braces going to Rob Horn and Peter Beatham. And it was Matt Tamur who got the fifth and final try. Brennan Foley was good with the boot here today. Four from five. And Gek gives them 33 points altogether. As for Argentina, a valiant effort. A strong effort. But in the end, just not enough. 
in defence and not enough in attack with their backs. Ligus them on and I'm off getting one try apiece. Sanchez was good. I'll say that. He was good for the boot and his running was much improved today. The stats even up a lot from half time. Australia just getting 53 and 59 of position and territory respectively. Three high tackles, a yellow card to Pilota now. Did not help, but 11 line breaks to three. That is huge. Argentina need to work on their backline plays. The yellow card, as I mentioned, not the best for Pilota now. He fired up his teammates while he was off the paddock. And in the end, just about 50 tackles from Argentina. That's a whole big pile of tackles for the match. That's for the table. Let's have a look now. And Argentina will remain on two points. It will be Australia that put their points to tally up to eight. And they are just two points adrift of South Africa. So this is going to be interesting now, folks, because... South Africa's on 10, New Zealand's on 17, Argentina 2, so Australia on 8, could possibly threaten South Africa if they don't get their wiggle on in the next couple of weeks. It's going to be an interesting finish here, there's definitely still plenty to play for despite the fact New Zealand have a good 7 point lead over the rest of the field, but today it is Australia's day, 33-14 to 14 over Argentina, and that is me, done and dusted for another day. Rugby Championship rolls on, another weekend goes by, and Australia and New Zealand get the wins. And I'll see you all next weekend for more Rugby Championship matches. Thank you all for watching, hope you're enjoying the series, and I'll see you all next time. Until then, take care.